Birdies, eagles and bunnies were on show at the famous Pacific Palms Resort in Los Angeles for the 11th annual Playboy Golf Finals. Playmates and celebrities mingled with golf teams that had qualified from North America and Australia. While many were there for the party and a few laughs, a select few had visions of being crowned Playboy Golf Champions. The majority of guys here on, on the co competitive side have all qualified through our nationwide tour and the United States, uh, in the United States and Canada and Australia. And so they battled it out. And so the winners come out here, but we also have a VIP division where the guys, they, they buy their way in and, and, and they get to play with the celebrities, sponsors and all of that. So there's a mix of both. And mixing both beauty and talent is British golfing model Sophie Horn, who was invited to show off her skills. The former golf punk model has developed quite a following stateside. Basically, I'm here to play as a celebrity in the golf tournament, which I've flagged my way into somehow, uh, taking and soaking up the atmosphere. It's a party, I think, most nights, but I'm trying to pace myself throughout the week, uh, culminating in the mansion on Saturday night. While it was proving difficult for many to concentrate on their handicaps, there was no mistaking Sophie's intent to prove she belonged on the course and not in bunny ears. I'm playing off four at the moment, so hoping to, hoping to improve it throughout the year and as we get more sunshine, or hopefully I get to travel a bit more then. I'm going to play it a bit cool, you know, give them a false sense of security and then maybe, maybe pull the old driver out and whack a few balls past them, hopefully. And handicap isn't the only thing on the former county champion's mind. I'm really enjoying my level of golf at the moment. I'm going to keep improving it. Just really, I enjoy the media world, the modelling side, the presenting side of things, so. So I think I'm just going to keep down this route, keep improving, and have some fun along the way, I hope. And where better to have a little fun? While continuing to raise funds for local charities through auctions and raffles, Hugh Hefner's crew are looking to parallel golf's growth worldwide. This is the 11th year, so we've been putting together and building it. I, I want to bring it uh, international as our next goal. You know, the United Kingdom is, is one of our places that we definitely are trying to get into. South Africa, uh, Singapore, uh, China, of course, and I uh, hope one day I'll have it in India, too. And I think we're, we're going to be successful with that because I think the Playboy brand is just powerful across the world, and, and it, it represents the, the lifestyle that happened to envision many years ago. And nothing demonstrates that lifestyle more than the coolest clubhouse in golf. Prizes after the two-round scramble event were rewarded at a pyjama and lingerie party in Hef's legendary Beverly Hills abode. So what's the lowdown from our golfing expert? Any chance of etching her name on the famous trophy? It was the most um, outrageous day. DJs on every hole. Every hole seemed to be sponsored by some sort of uh, liquor brand, so... Pretty different golf day to what I'm used to at home. Well, Beverly Hills is a long way from rural Norfolk. If you guys can please come up and get your... I don't think we actually made it around more than nine holes. That's the problem. That's the only problem that we had. Um... While the competitive division all finished their rounds, and after the champions were crowned, it was time to party Playboy style. I'm glad you guys are here. We're at Half Shangri-La, the Playboy Mansion, celebrating our 2010 season and teeing off with our new 2011 season. You know, I don't want to tell a lie ever, and this party is, is tops them all. This is where the celebrities want to be. Of course, there's a lot of beautiful women here. That is one thing we do right with Playboy and Playboy Golf. There's always beautiful women, and the guys here are having the time of their lives. Almost certainly the only golf tournament in the world where the organizers encourage you to dress down for the occasion. 